The point P 0 0.5 comma 0 lies on the curve y equals cosine pi x. If Q is the point x comma cosine pi x, use your calculator to find the slope of the secant line P to Q. Correct to six decimal places. All right. So if Q is a point. All right, so the first thing we need to know is we need to know what this is. And this is the slope of the secant line. That, that's what we're trying to find, M P Q. This is the equation we use, it's the point slope form of the equation. And the y and the x. Where's the y? Which one's x? So we're given a point called P. This is x. This is y. Alright, and then we have these other points Q, which are going to have x and a y. And so these are the x's for those points Q. But when you plug them in, to the function, they're gonna not, they're gonna end up making a secant line. So that's what we're trying to do. We plug in here; it makes a secant line. So we have m p to q cosine pi times zero. Why zero? Because we're given the following x zero. So we have 0, we plug it in, what's pi times 0, that's 0, it's cosine 0, 0 is 1, 0 minus 0.5, that ends up becoming 1 divided by negative 0.5, which equals negative 2. And if you guys remember trigonometry, right? So this is 0, and cosine right here, that makes it 1. And Here's our next problem. We're trying to find m, the slope of, of the secant line m, p to q, which equals the following. And I'm, I'm just going to show you the answers here. So this is what we get from this problem, 0.4. From 0.49, we get this answer. It's getting closer and closer to something. we right here from 0.499 is getting closer and that looks a lot like wh what we think it is it's pi right all right so now let's look at this one we plug in the the x into here which is one we end up getting negative negative two and right here we plug in point six and we end up getting this, we end up plugging in 0 0.51, we end up getting this, we end up plugging in 0 0.501, we end up getting this, it looks a lot like pi. Alright, so now that we know that this is um, converging to 0.5, which is going to give us a slope so this is our slope remember slope p to q and it looks a lot like pi so it looks like it's going to give us pi so what's this question asking it's saying it's using the results of part a guess the values of the slope of the tangent line to the curve at p and so we could guess the slope to be pi. And now let's look at this one. It says using the slope from part B, find an equation of the tangent line to the curve at P zero point five comma zero. So and it's negative pi. So and we got to plug it into the point slope form, remember? So 
point cell form looks like this which equals x um, x no not that it's m sorry about that minus x1 so it'll look like that so we just gotta plug in this and the slope so let's do that so y is 0 so we don't have to worry about that so y equals the slope of negative pi and 0.5 so x minus 0.5 or we just say half it's always easier to work with fractions when you're using cosines and sines and tangents, trigonometry kind of stuff. So let's see. Now negative pi, we just gotta distribute it, right? So y equals negative pi x minus pi and a half. So this ends up being our slope point form of our equation and if we wanted to we could have just left out the pi but we want it like this kind of because depending on what we put in here it's going to end up being pi and a half so whatever works So this is actually positive pi half, my bad. We forgot that a distributor that's negative, that becomes positive, so that's positive. Alright, so now all we have to do is sketch the curve of the two secant two of the secant lines and the tangent line. So and first we need to figure out how to sketch this. So we sketch this by using this function. Remember the function that was given to us at the beginning? y equals cosine pi x. And so all we gotta do is basic trigonometry kind of stuff for you. We plug in a number for the x and it ends up equaling 1, so that's 1 right here. 1 half, which equals 0 right here, <coughs> which is a point p. Um, the number 1 which equals negative 1 right here 3 and a half which equals 0 right here 2 which equals 1 and so on so now where, where are the points of interest right here for the secant line if you remember that at the beginning we had 0.5 which is right here and so in, in order for us to approximate to the the point p we have these points called q so we got these points called q let me write them down right here and what happens with these q's which are our secant lines they slowly start getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and they eventually end up touching the tangent line. So we might have a something right here. These cubes getting closer. And we might have a line that's going like this. And then we end up having these line getting closer. These two points Q. And see it's not a tangent line just yet. But what happens if the points are right here? Let's say right there yeah these two points are right there it starts to look like the tangent line and so that's what's happening right here so we we just put these two arbitrary points to make the secant line now it, it doesn't matter where you put these two points q 
as long as they're put on the graph right you could put we could put a point right here and a point over there as long as the graph looks the same and there are two secret lines now I don't know why you would do that but you want it relatively close because it makes it easier to to visualize what's happening and then finally the tangent line the tangent line is at P it's touching P and it has the same direction so what's the direction that this is going it's going up right but at this given position super close if we're super close right then it's going up and it's going this way so that's what's happening that's why it doesn't follow this curve because as soon as it touches this it's going the same direction as the curve and so that's all you really need to know about this graph and how to sketch it thank you guys for watching the video it would mean a lot if you would like and subscribe to my channel it would help my channel grow and if you do it will allow me to keep making content like this Thank you guys for watching and I hope I could see you guys next time. Bye.